All right, we are back, and we got <laughs> what the fuck is that? So we got Imperial smells like bean spirit, and you can see the little microphone brewing, and <laughs> they got like this like skydiving coffee bean mashup. <laughs> it kind of it looks. I say it's some terrible artwork. <laughs> So we got microphone on top right there, craft beer, um, and then what was the coffee place called? Oh, right there, Tugboat Coffee, right there. So it's a breakfast stout ale with maple syrup and Tugboat Coffee Roasters Sumatra Blend. And this one is a whopping 10%. So let's crack this open, let's see what she looks like. We got our uh, Freem Family Brewers glass here. Very nice. Dark as the night, she be. Oh boy, this is gonna be good. This is smells fucking delicious with that maple. And coffee just like banging out at you. So, okay, I don't think this is a like bourbon barrel aged or anything like that. Kind of threw me off because the uh, the little oh, I thought that was a whiskey bottle. That's like syrup. So that makes that makes more sense. Oh my god. Microphone, I've only had two of their beers, and this one being the third. Fantastic. <laughs> Microphone, that is just banging with flavor. And there's a little bit of alcohol warmth, which I don't mind at all. We're using PAA Dapper Docks, and that basically sums it up. Lilac and Fig. They don't all have to be super complex to be super nice. And this one... Just so happens to be super nice. I explained it on my mail call video, but this one is just like a, like, it's like mellow floral and mellow um, fig. And together, it's just like a, like a calming, um, very, like, beautiful, simplistic blend that I feel like can be worn all year round, can be worn by men or women. Um, yeah. Out of the original 10 samples that I got from PAA, Lilac and Fig was my number two, only to Oubliette. I, I really like it. This one here is in the Kokum Butter Shave Soap. I, I believe some people call it like the Crown King Base or CK1, um, but it's their bargain one. So there's the uh, ingredients there. I'm sure everybody pretty much knows by now, but there's the ingredients there. Nice side label, has all the info you need on it. Four ounces, I don't know what the uh, actual price is. I got it loaded up into the Lancaster Bowl. One thing I noticed about the CK1, and I mentioned it on my Epic Peppermint video, was that it's like brilliant white. And what I mean by that is just like the color of it. I can tell when it's in my um, shaving bowl how like bright white it is. I'm going to be using the Thater Silver Tip today. Got it uh, soaking in the bougie brush bath. We'll go ahead and wring it out. And let's get to lathering. Actually, before we get to lathering, let's break out the uh, bougie chill mill, which has, we have a few submissions for, uh, for names. So, we got... Submitted by our very own, I call him, you know, my shaving sensei, <laughs> uh, Mr. Doug Bear from the Barely Normal Wet Shaver uh, YouTube channel. He submitted the mentholator. So, that's a very nice one. It sounds pretty badass. And then we got... 
from our very own wet shaving pirate Leather Me Whiskers, Captain Leather Me Whiskers, also on YouTube. And both of these guys are also on Instagram and Facebook. And he suggested calling it the Bougie Cold Pole. So we got those two, and the Cold Pole's kind of nice. It rhymes like the Chill Mill. So we got those two submissions. If you guys can think of a uh, another cool name for the Bougie Chill Mill, let me know. I'm open to suggestions. But so far, we got two, and I, I, I like them both. The chill mill is pretty fucking perfect, but PAA, it was their invention. It's theirs to keep. But it's just not bougie like mine. <laughs> okay, and I think we got a very nice lather whipped up. Right there. I have used the CK1 and P... Or and CK6 soap bases and um, both of them were really nice like that's why I had no reservations about buying the CK1 in a full tub because I was like I tried it before uh, thanks to Mary and the Barbarian it's fucking awesome so no worries all right also from my mail call video we got a Solingen Germany straight razor. I'll go ahead and put my box to the side. Right there, ladies and gentlemen. Right there. So let's get a closer look if we can. Wacker Solingen. And this one is the Chevalier. There it is. <laughs> you can see on that intricate design along the spine. It says Chevalier, and then on the other side, we got Masterclass Razors, and it says Original Handmade, so there we have it. So this is a 6 eighths French Point, and Full Hollow, at least that is what I am led to believe from Griffith Shaving Goods, which is where I picked this bad boy up. So... That's what we're using today. I am super excited to get into that. Let's put some lather to the face and get with it. So, I wanted to remind everybody. Today is pretty much the last night of mine and Marion's joint giveaway. Um... We gave everybody a week, ending on Tuesday. We both did a video on the same night announcing the giveaway. And so if you're interested in that, that video was shot last Tuesday on both of our channels. So you can look at details on how to enter by going back to that video. Or those videos, rather. But, I just wanted to remind everybody, if for whatever reason you didn't have time originally, the giveaway ends tomorrow. When I do my shave tomorrow, I'll probably dedicate some time to film the giveaway. And winner takes all for the straight razor, shaving brush, strop, and shaving soap. So, that is very exciting. Um, I cannot wait to see, you know, who gets it, and hopefully it goes to a good home, somebody that's uh, in need of some high-quality shave gear. Okay. And that's... Very good. The scent strength is probably about six. I'd say it's pretty, uh, it's pretty pungent. Um, I 
It doesn't leave me like desiring it. It's there. It's just a nice blend of the two. So here we go. The first strokes with this fucking bat. Oh, oh. Think I had. <laughs> think I had a premature edge gasm before I even <laughs> before I even put the fucking edge to the face. I kind of lost it there, fellas. Sorry. Whew. Need to light a fucking cigarette. Oh, okay, okay, let's get to shape. And goddamn, that's nice. So, Griffith Shaving Goods contacted me and they said, hey, we got your razor, got your order. And they said, did you want us to hone it for you? I was unaware that, like, maybe they don't come honed. Because my first email with them, I did not get this question. Or my first razor that I bought from them, I should say. I did not get this question. But they, maybe, uh... Maybe since I contacted them and we kind of talked that first time around, maybe he, you know, felt like we were a little bit more personable to each other. And so he asked me if I wanted it um, honed before he sends it out. And I, of course, was like, yes, please, you know. I don't hone my own razor, so I would very much appreciate it if you uh honed it before you sent it out i enjoyed the griffith shaving edge from the um wade and butcher elite that i got from them so he honed it up and had it out the following morning which i thought was great and all in all, I've got to say, I am a, like, a big fan of Griffith Shaving Goods. Like, so far I've liked the customer service. I've liked the products offered. I've liked the fair prices. You know, they're not all ballooned out of proportion. At least, you know... To my expertise, and I usually get a second opinion before I buy from somebody with more experience. And then the uh, the edge. The edge is comfortable to me. I find it to be... Just a hair... Um more sharp than smooth and that's completely fine with me like it's definitely not uncomfortable it's a good shaving edge and I don't I don't have a single problem shaving with it okay so yeah so I ran over a blemish over here I felt it as soon as I went over it, it just kind of didn't really slow me down, but I could, like, feel the the pop or something, you know. No big deal. Just a blemish. I'm not really gonna... Not really gonna say that, you know, I had a lapse in concentration, because I didn't. Uh, it was just a blemish that I ran right over the top of. And it's not gonna... I don't think it's gonna cause me any troubles. <clears throat> so... CK1 performing very well. I got a nice low level chill that I am like really fucking enjoying. It is menthol Monday by coincidence, but I've been using the fucking bougie chill mill pretty much all week. So that is what that is. Um, I also wanted to just give you guys a little bit of a heads up 
that if you're not following my buddy um, Shaving with Surge, he's doing a 100 subscriber giveaway as well over on his um, shaving channel on YouTube. And then my buddy uh, Corey from Shaving with Chief is also doing a giveaway on his YouTube channel. So, really, it's a good time to be a wet shaving <laughs> degenerate because if you're watching all of this YouTube content between the lot of us, you have a pretty decent opportunity to get, get in on a lot of um, giveaways right now. So, there's that. Don't say I never did anything for you. And this looks like it can use some additional water. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. It just looks like it was kind of... Um, kind of pasty. Not out of hand pasty, but... It was kind of looking at me as if additional water could be added, so there we go. I don't know if the menthol, you know, was uh, detrimental to this lather. I think I got a lather, a better lather anyhow, from the uh, Epic Peppermint that I used. But uh, regardless, I'm going to have the slickness I need, whether I have the so-called protection, or uh, cushion, I should say, or density. <clears throat> okay. Against the grain. I notice it kind of has, like, elongated uh, scales right here, so when it's closed, the tail just kind of, like, barely hangs out thought that was going to be an issue but when you have it open you know, I still have space for like all my fingers so no real issue <clears throat> all right son of a gun Man, that's nice. That is fucking nice. I just rolled right over the top of it a second time. Why the hell not? <clears throat> Go ahead and scrape that right off of there. Still popping hairs, so that's a good sign. Gotta say, this edge is absolutely dominating <laughs> these whiskers. It is plowing down the growth, mowing down the beard, and absolutely dominating the whiskers. How do you like that, Ken? <laughs> All right, maybe we'll get a little, a little bit deeper here. And I think that'll just about do it. I'll go ahead and clean this off and then we'll get into some post shave. 
all in all, I don't have any complaints with CK1. I don't have any complaints with this whacker with the Griffith Shaving Goods edge on it. This was a very enjoyable shave. Okay, I'll clean that up later. Put that to the side. That's my baby right there. <laughs> I was telling people on my giveaway video that I'm fucking like in full love with that whacker. I think that might be <laughs> my favorite straight razor in the den. The look and the contours and the kind of etching on the spine just I mean just fucking it's just right up my alley the the lines of the kind of a uh, shape of the blade the french point always wanted a french point just fucking phenomenal I explained in my mail call video that uh, I first saw the whacker from Rick over at Loose Screw Shaving. He had a beautiful whacker himself. <sighs> Do not twist my words. <laughs> His whacker straight razor was a... Uh, it really made me want to go hunt for my own whacker. Which I really didn't know where to start because up until then, believe it or not, I'd never even heard of Wacker. <laughs> you know, I heard a lot of Wade and Butcher and Hankles and Theris are. But I don't even, I didn't even have a straight razor at the point where I saw it, but I was like, damn, if I ever do get one, that's what I want. Okay, I'll get the rest of the lather out off cam. I'm going to take another drink of this because it's just too good not to. And you exhale out your nose while you're kind of swishing it around in your mouth. It's fucking real good shit. So I got the matching aftershave right here. PAA's Dapper Doc. <clears throat> Let's see, you guys are probably familiar with the ingredients, but it looks like they're right there on the bottom. Yep. So I'm going to open that, and since I find these aftershaves um, just a hair lacking in the skin food department, I'm going to add some good oleo to that. So, can't go wrong with some good oleo. I'm just going to put a few drops of each. There we go, I got three and the residual. And then here, I'm going to pour out the back just a little. There we go. Just a little. Get that in there. I really strongly wish PAA would offer a restrictor on the side. That way, they don't have to change their bottles for the people who love their bottles. But... If they could just offer a restrictor on the side for those of us who are not in love with their bottles. And this is where I, this is where I get scared. <laughs> because at first it has a vacuum, but then that vacuum opens up. And there goes the floodgates. It's a lot more soothing when you start off with that... Um, or I should say when you mix in that good oleo. It's not necessary. I still felt a little tingle from the alcohol. But um, for those of you, you know, who want some fragrances but they're in after alcohol splashes and, you know, you're too much of a crybaby that you can't have an alcohol splash but you wish you could because you like the fragrance, just pick up some good oleo. And that's basically like skin food and soothing, you know, face feel. And then you can mix it with your favorite al alcohol aftershave fragrance. And you're set. So, 
Dapper Docs from PAA, CK1. Real good shit. Mix the good oleo with the aftershave. I used my whacker right there. Shaved with my fucking beautiful whacker with these like horn scales with kind of like the white and black mix going on. And then the Lancaster Bowl, the Thater Silver Tip, and of course the Mentholator, the Cold Pole, the Bougie Chill Mill. Right there. So. Please go check out those channels I mentioned and all the giveaways associated with them. And that was my Menthol Monday shave. I hope you guys have a good Monday and a good rest of your week. Please stay safe if you're in a affected wildfire area and stay safe regardless, fellas. Hope you guys can have some good shaves. Thanks for the support. Catch you on the next one. Cheers.